Okay, here we go. I just opened up uh, today's Leave Insert paper, paper one. Um, let's see what we have. Answer any four questions from this section. I'll probably just answer them all. Uh, find the two values of m for which the following equation in x has exactly one solution. Okay, so that's the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. That has to equal 0. So b squared, that's m squared minus 4ac. That's 24. Isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> four, 4 times 3 times 3. 36. Which is better because that's a square number. So you get m is plus or minus 6. They're the two integer values. Uh, explain why the following equation in x has no real solution. Because 2x plus 3 squared equals minus 7. But 2x plus 3 squared must be greater than 0 if x is a real number. So that means um, there is no x. There's no x in or such that we can have 2x plus 3 squared equal to minus 7. So you have a positive equals a negative. The equation doesn't make any sense. Show that minus 1 is not a solution. OK, 3 times minus 1 squared plus 2 times minus 1 plus 5. That's going to be equal to 3 minus 2 plus 5 is 6, isn't it? Which is not 0. So by the remainder theorem, that means it's not a root. Or, oh, it's just we're not even caring if it's a root. It's a solution. Okay, well, it's not a solution then. 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 5 is 6. Find the remainder when that's divided by x plus 1. Well, using the remainder theorem, the remainder would just be, you sub in minus 1. So it's just 3 times minus 1 squared plus 2 times minus 1 plus 5. So that's going to be 3 minus 2. Why am I taking out the card there? Because I'm tired, I guess. 6, that's the remainder. Uh, oh, is that what they had me do? Oh, that's funny. That's what I literally just did. So I didn't have to repeat myself. I knew it was 6 because that's what I got last time. Oh, I wonder if they did that on purpose. I'm sure they did. Uh, that is, find the value of C when it's written in this form. Ah, oh, rats, they're making me divide it. Because I need to know what the quotient is. Okay. The remainder is 6. Oh, no, they don't know. Yeah, they don't care about the A and the B. It's 6, just from the remainder theorem. That is, find the value of C. They don't care about what the value of A and B is. Very interesting and very short. It's just six from the previous one. Okay, well, that's the first question. Um, if you appreciate me uploading the solutions on the day the exams come out, I would appreciate a, a like and a subscribe. Okay, let's continue.